So Thayer Thomas deep to receive the punt. Pressure comes, it is blocked. North Carolina State's gonna fall on it. Touchdown, Wolfpack. After stopping UNC on defense, their special teams come through, Rod. Well, off that right side, you see the layout, and then the ball fluttering around. North Carolina State's able to dive on it. Looks like that was Aiden White that came off. Excuse me, Jordan Houston, the running back, comes off and blocks the punt. North Carolina State has been the best complete team, the most complete team in the entire conference. Special teams being a massive. It's a rough start for Howell in the offense. First possession, this to give to Ty Chandler. Chandler has space around the left side. Here goes Ty and a big gain on first down. Gain of 23. And that's how you settle down, Roddy Jones. Josh Downs had a pancake. Watch as Ty Chandler gets through the hole. You're going to see Ty Chandler. You're going to see Josh Downs. So third and seven for Howell. Forced out of the pocket. He's forced to throw that away. And another stop for the Wolfpack defense. Again, Ben Kiernan's punt to open the game was blocked. Thayer Thomas deep to receive. Kiernan able to get that one off in ACC play leads the conference we're on record watch three touchdown passes tonight he ties Philip Rivers for most of the season in school history that'll be good enough for a first down after a gain of eight Knight in the backfield Leary to throw has a receiver caught first down Thayer Thomas on the reception Cameron Kelly on the coverage and tackle gain of ten Depending on how you qualify these guys. Tony Grimes. I think with COVID, everyone's a senior. I know. Okay. And everyone has eligibility. Can't keep track. Leary, forced out of the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield. He's going to get brought down by the North Carolina defense. An excellent job of covering everybody up. And Devin Leary's a little fortunate here. You see him step up in the pocket, and when he starts to scramble, he's got that ball kind of away from his body. He's got a big task punting to Josh Downs. Downs can hurt you in so many ways as Gill gets the punt off. Downs get a fair catch at inside his 15. Takes him all the way back inside the 10. His line is, we didn't earn the top 10. We were given the top 10. Chandler trying to get him the one and earn the first down. He's not going to get it. Three possessions for the Tar Heels. Just one first down. Kiernan's punt to Thayer Thomas. Thomas get away for the fair catch. NC State's got the ball at the 36-yard line. Leary, a quick throw. That's going to be enough for a first down for the Wolfpack. Beginning of the broadcast, we had talked about how they like to spread the ball around. Four different receivers have caught a pass tonight. Second and ten, the give to Person Jr. Big physical run. Look at Person Jr. carry the Tar Heel defense. Gain of 17. Person, I would be going around asking for fair because they just caught a ticket on the bus, and Ricky Person getting in that pile, being able to drive those legs. Still Person off the left side. That's gonna be enough for a Wolfpack first down. Tony Grimes brings him down. Tar Heels bring in four fresh bodies on defense. The run to the outside for Person, does a good job planting that right foot. And Ricky Person Jr. continues to run physically for the Wolfpack. Bring him down. Giovanni Biggers has a shot on Ricky Person in the hole. But Person sets him up to the outside, slips underneath. The arm tackle not able to bring him down. And then the power. I mean, he's been tough to take down. And while he's up, 23 of 24 in their last seven games. And movement up front. Prior to snap, false start. Offense, number 50. Five yard penalty. First down. I know fades by the goal line call. <laughs> Are you? Just because of those guys' height. Leary to throw. Plants his feet. Has a receiver. Touchdown. Wolfpack. Trent Penix. And history continues of never missing a PAT. Watch the ball play again, Roddy. What do you see? Well, it's just a corner route. Eyes of the safety caught in the backfield. And Penix just slips by him. Trent Penix, a guy that came here as a running back. Has excellent skills after the catch. 
and has really developed at that tight end position, slipping out, getting behind Cameron Kelly and beating him to the corner. So a little bit of everything. Yeah, you can never count on these top picks playing in bowl games, so we will see, but you're guaranteed this one, Carolina fans. British Brooks in the backfield. He makes a nice cut to the left side, and Brooks has some space. There goes British Brooks. Jakeen Harris, the touchdown saving tackle. That'll get the offense going for a gain of 40. In the inside zone play from UNC. The left side collapses it. She's just a power play. The left side collapses it. Tar Heels have had plays of 23 and a play of 40. Big plays for them, not able to sustain the drive. How to throw quickly. Caught. It was Justin Olsen on the reception. That'll be good enough for a UNC first down. Chandler the starter, Brooks the big run, how to throw, has time over the middle, it is caught by Downs, and what a remarkable catch out of Downs, first time we've seen him tonight, gain of 13. A little bit of confusion for NC State on defense, a lot of conversation happening. Howell looks to pitch, going to keep it himself, and he's going to get met immediately. Vi Jones. That brings it back to fourth and four. I think if it had stayed fourth and or with a, only two yards to get the first down, you go for it. But here, I think it's a little tougher decision. I'm not a big fan of the play call, though. You're trying to get a shovel pass to Ty Chandler out of the backfield. Six plays, 70 yards, trying to get three. Kick is up and good. The biggest difference for Icky, practice habits. And that's big when it comes to the NFL, is Bam Knight. This kid does a little bit of everything. Giovanni Biggers brings him down. On Wednesday, give it a day in case there's any lingering food issues. This Zonovan Knight, Bam Knight, stays on his feet. Look at Knight, spin around out of the tackle. And a big game for Bam Knight. 27 yards. Look like he had more open field to keep going. It did. I'm not exactly sure why he decided to. But you see the big cutback lane there is for Bam Knight. He's the more explosive of the two in the back. So Josh Downs with that reception passes Hakeem Nix for most receiving yards in a season for North Carolina. Third and seven for Howell. Across the middle to Downs again. And Jakeen Harris was ready for it. Tar Heels forced to punt. <laughs> ben Kiernan to punt. They are taught. Oh, it's blocked again. UNC is going to recover the blocked punt. The Wolfpack blocked the punt for the second time this tonight. Vi Jones was the one that got to it and blocked it. Well, they came after this one. Vi Jones this time coming off the left side and unlucky for NC State that it bounces right to the tight end, Garrett Walston, who's Johnny on the spot getting the first down. But if you're UNC, you have to figure this out. NC State, but we're not even through two quarters this game. British Brooks back in the backfield, provided a spark for UNC last time. How to throw, pressured, and sacked again. This NC State defensive front is having a ball game. You're going to see Jalen Scott on the right side of your screen. He's just going to come underneath the left tackle, Awesome Richards. He sets him up on the outside. Not even that good a move to the outside. Just slips underneath him. Richards opens up the front door. Curtis Brooks gave him 40. They weren't able to capitalize down near the goal line. Had to settle for the field goal. How the slip screen. Finds his guy Downs. Get the ball to Downs. You should be okay. He's going to be well short of the first down. Three yards here. Leary going to keep it after faking it to Person over the middle, and it's dropped. Emeka Amezi had it right on him. Ball play was on. He can't convert. Tar Heels force another punt. Kevin Connors can't wait for that Steve Oling produced halftime report. I'm just figuring, trying to figure out how you got Palmer to work on the Friday after Thanksgiving. As Sam Howell is going to take a shot. That's going to be a flag 365 days a year. Derek Pitts on the coverage. Antoine Green. Forcing the P.I. Pass interference. Play clock down to two, down to one. Snap off, Howell over the middle, and it is caught by Kamari Morales, and it's going to be a fourth and short. Brooks now taking the snap. Patiently waits, and he's still going. What an effort by British Brooks. I was questioning whether or not he was going to have it, but 
British Brooks able to get through the tackle. Looks like a Davin Van who had him. He gets a little bit of help from Jordan Tucker. A little bit? Then, yeah, a lot of bit of help. He pulled his pulled his running back out of there. Looks like Davin Van's down on the play, too. But watch Jordan Tucker. Come on, man. Let's keep rolling. <laughs> I mean, that is incredible. After the remarkable play by British Brooks on fourth down, can Carolina capitalize? How to throw? Arm hit. Ball hangs. Did he catch that? He did. That is a reception. Morales with the only guy with his eyes on the football. The two NC State defenders had their backs turned. Looks like they're coming around the edge. Is Daniel Joseph able to get his hand on the football? But Carolina getting some... First and goal for the Tar Heels. Ball at the four. Can they capitalize this time? Last time they couldn't punch it in. Howell going to fake. Looks like he's going to keep it himself. Sam Howell in for a touchdown for North Carolina. But what a ball play here by Sam Howell in the offense. And watch the field by Kamari, Kamari Morales, who goes across the line of scrimmage. And he's going to be a receiver. Looks and says, oh, nope, Sam's going to run. And I'm going to turn into a blocker. And he throws the key block on the play. That after, he catches the, the wounded duck in the air from Sam Howell. Morales coming up big on that drive. Almost like he decides to snap it, then rethinks it and decides not to. Leary pressured, able to get out of there, finds Bam Knight over the middle of the field in a big play. Here goes out of it. Great job by Leary to avoid the rush. Gain of 38. Now the Wolfpacker in business still with two timeouts. Felt the pressure on the outside. Cut back towards the inside. Leary found him. You see Grant Gibson getting out front like it's going to be some sort of screen, but Bam Knight feels that there's a defender there. Comes back inside like an angle. Leary again pressured. This time North Carolina gets to him. Good feel as it opens up. He's going to start there on the right side of your screen and come inside on a little twist. Opens up, comes right up the middle. So 0 for 3 on third down. Leary's got to work the boundary, get this out of bounds, gets it tonight, makes a cut. And so he keeps it in bounds. Jeremiah Gimbel brings it down. So a 50-yard attempt. It's all hustle now. Kick on the way, and that's going to be short. Ball now at the 30. Leary pulls it on second down. And a shot to Emeka Amezi. Tony Grimes forces him out. It'll be a first down Wolfpack. Person in the backfield. Leary to throw. Quick shot over the middle. That'll be enough for a first down NC State. Trent Penix on the reception. Cedric Gray brings him down after a gain of eight. So Person remains in the backfield. He starts back there for the Wolfpack to begin the third quarter. Ball at the 47. Pressure comes. Can't get out of it. Leary sacked by Gimmel. Person was caught in between. He had two guys coming, had to pick one of them. Either way, you pick wrong because the other one's got a free shot on the quarterback. And Gimmel's able to bring down Lear. Third and 19. Back off the pressure. Leary all day going to pop it out to Person to the left side. He's going to try to make a cut. Nothing to it. Ball comes loose. Carolina has it. Cedric Gray comes up with it. To Ricky Person. And looked like they were going to just bring him down. But Jeremiah Gimmel's able to get that arm in. Spins around. Clearly rips it out before Ricky Person's on the ground. A huge momentum play. It seemed like every play like this had gone NC State's way so far, but now UNC with great field position. Gemmel the force. Brooks, five carries, 90 yards, leads the way for North Carolina. It's Brooks again. He's going to take it right up the middle. Wolfpack there led by Drake Thomas. It'll be enough for a first down. Kieran Johnson had it go off of him. Big play for Carolina. Howell pressured. Keeps it himself. Keeps his feet. Sam Howell, North Carolina, takes the lead. It absolutely does. You turn defense into offense. The all-star quarterback laying it all out there. No, they you, really know, you don't know, know, I don't play know what that the was. pictures mean, but let me see it again. Maybe I'll figure it out. Leary off his feet. Over the middle. Incomplete. Another punt for NC State. 
NC State's blocked two punts. One of them they recovered for a touchdown. The other one ended up at a UNC first down. Matt Barry, Roddy Jones, Tiff Blackman. Howell does a good job escaping the pressure. Stiff arms, another defender. There goes Sam Howell down the sidelines. And I'm going to count a walk out of bounds as a slide, Roddy Jones. Drake Thomas forced him out, gain a 24. But watch the strength. You talk about strength through your core, and that's the ability to avoid some of these tackles, the arm tackles, not getting pulled down. Trent Thomas, one of the best tacklers. And he's got his team on his back tonight. Howell with time, over the middle, caught. It's Antoine Green. Once you pucker the lips, camera's coming out. First down, North Carolina. British Brooks spins off the outside. Can British Brooks get the corner? The answer is yes. There goes British Brooks. Touchdown, Tar Heels. And they mark him out at the one and a flag on the play. They, they threw a flag right when he made the turn. And not really been able to find downs down the field in this game. It's been mostly slip screens. And during this comeback, downs has actually been quiet. How going to take a shot at the end zone? Goes up. Caught. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Extra point attempt is good. Five plays, 59 yards, and a one-on-one -on -one touchdown for Justin Olsen. Well, first you have to be impressed with the throw by Sam Howell. It's perfectly placed right on the head of the defender. And we'll see if Zonovan Knight and Leary and the Wolfpack can get something going here. Bam out of the backfield, gets a couple of nice blocks, and that's a good start to this possession. And a gain of 12 brought down by Cedric Gray. They have not been able to do that, and then pressure on Devin Leary has gotten him off the field. So Knight back in the game, that's a good sign for the Wolfpack. Obviously, it was bothering him is all good, and a nice run out of Bam to get the first down. Tamon Fox on the tackle. Second and three, whole thing's open. Again, the run. Again, Knight. Again, a first down. Thayer Thomas in motion. Here comes a trick play. Thomas off the end around. Gets around the block. There goes Thayer Thomas. First down NC State. Gray again on the tackle. Fake toss. Leary pressured and brought down by the Tar Heels. That's Chris Collins on the sack. Over pursue and then slip the tight end up the seam. And Carolina just covers it well downfield. 28. Up the seam is who they're looking for, Devin Leary. 5.15 and counting on this drive. Big third down and nine. Leary has time, climbs the pocket, throws and caught. That's Thomas. Here goes Thayer Thomas. Touchdown, Wolfpack. 26 yards. And with that extra point attempt, Christopher Dunn has set the record for 168 consecutive makes. It's a nice job by Devin Leary moving up in the pocket. He gets an excellent block. And then it's a bad angle on the back end by Cameron Kelly. Some really poor effort. Bucky Dadger, I love you. He also played football here. British Brooks on the field for Carolina. And that momentum has turned over to the defense. Second and 11 Tar Heels. Howell looking to keep it. Sam Howell has a crease, loses his footing. And there's a flag on the play. Jakeen Harris come, came in and made the hit. Howell fakes. Backside pressure. Ball comes out. Daniel Joseph forced the fumble. Joshua Zudu is actually the one that gets beat on this. He's on the left side of your screen. Normally the left guard. Watch Daniel Joseph. He does a nice job of just continuing to work, continuing to work. Josh Downton very silent here in the second half. Hal forced to step out, and he's brought down again. So five sacks for the Wolfpack defense. Here comes Devin Leary with the ball, down three. Thayer Thomas deep to receive. Gets that one off clean. Thomas can run into it, has space. Thayer Thomas up the middle in a nice return to the 40. Punt of 32, return of 20. That's Thomas in motion. 
person out of the backfield. Leary, plenty of time, clean clock pocket and incomplete. Ty Chandler back in the game for the Tar Heels. And it's Chandler on first down. Ty Chandler has space. After they played Wake Forest, where we only had four catches, said so that would never happen again. We got to get him the ball. Sam Howell keeps it himself. The middle of the field opens up for Sam Howell, who has done the damage with his feet in the second half. Daniel Joseph brings him down and a gain of 20. Seeing out of them in a few weeks, this is one of the best tackling defenses in the ACC, and Sam Howell's just able to make. Tar Heels just two of ten on third down tonight. This third and five. Howell out of the backfield, has Downs. There's Josh Downs, and a big first down, UNC. So can NC State get a stop? Or can North Carolina add to their lead? Drips to the bottom of the screen, empty backfield for Howell. Slip screen, it is nearly intercepted. Kick clean, it is good. Grayson Atkins. Wait, so what's the rule for you guys tomorrow? Friday's count for helmet stickers? For Jesse, Joey, and Matt, college yeah. football final. Helmet stickers only tomorrow. Oh, come on. Empty backfield for Leary. Big possession for the Wolfpack, and he's brought down immediately. Taman Fox. Not sure why you go away from the run if you're NC State on first down, but Taman Fox working against Iki Iguanu. Potential first-round pick not able to keep the big graduate student from getting in the backfield. Fox doing a nice job getting the hands off. Looks like they're going to get one-on-one -on -one to the bottom, though. And they're right there on Bam Knight. That's 33, Cedric Gray, who's had himself a ball game. But I think NC State bailed them out a little bit. They did not run the football at all on that drive. He watched the diagnosis of Cedric Gray. He sees the screen coming, slips the blocker, and is able to make the... Goes away from it. Three straight passes and a punt. Gilda punt to Josh Downs. Downs going to be able to return it. Tries to cut outside. NC State does a good job corralling Downs on the punt return. 41-yard punt, 7-yard return. Play clock down to 3. Howell's going to keep it himself after a fake to Brooks. And Sam Howell has yardage, and he slid. And Howell's going to call the same ball play again, and it's going to be the exact same result for Sam Howell in North Carolina. Eddie once again, and he gets caught inside. Watch 26, goes with the blow inside. Sam Howell's able to get it. One timeout remaining. Here comes the pressure off the side, and they get Brooks. Tanner Engel came off the edge. Well, they are selling out to stop this run. Tanner Engel, as you can see, just bends it. Kick is on the way. It is good. Maybe the biggest kick of his career. And the transfer from Furman. As long as it goes far enough to get over the crossbar, it is good. 2-12 left in this game. And it's going to be Houston again. They want nothing to do with Bam Knight. Houston's going to take it off the right side. Houston has some space. Houston gives North Carolina State great field position. Kyler McMichael brings him down in a return for 36. Tar Heels have won the last two in this series. Leary off his feet. And he's brought down again. Vahasek the sack. See him wrap around the tackle and get to Devin Leary. Leary's got to take a shot. Has a player wide open. NC State is going to score. Emeka Amezi, 64 yards. We're not done yet in Raleigh. All right, let's take a look at how this happened. Storm Duck is on Emeka Amezi to the top. You're either expecting a safety over the top. It looks like the safety gets caught inside. And Emeka Mezzi wide open down the sideline. So a miscommunication. Either Cameron Kelly, the safety, is supposed to be over the top of Amezzi. Or Tony Grimes is supposed to carry him down the field. To me, it looked like that was the safety's job. 
to get over there. And now NC State, an onside kick for making this a real interesting match. It looks as if NC State recovered. NC State has it. Once again, Christopher Dunn dribbles it up the middle. And an NC State player has a shot at it. Two of them do. They both let the ball go through because it's not going 10 yards. Well, it was Trey Morrison, number four, who has the first shot and either decides that he doesn't want to field it. When you commit, you got to go for it. Having to use that timeout, not able to get anything going after that. More movement. Both parties pointing at each other, blaming each other. He's going to be on the defense. And they're going to get that yardage back. Offside. Defense number 12. Defender jump in the neutral zone. Calls the offensive player to move. So penalty yardage comes back. Corrections. Leary to the outside. No flag. I think you're going to get a flag on Devin Leary for late hit. I guess it's, it looked like the hit was on time. Maybe targeting. Personal foul. Rough in the passer. Defense. Number 51. 15 yard penalty. First down. Especially in this scenario in the football game. Leary's going to take a shot. Gets hit as he throws. And that's going to be a flag. And Roddy Jones, these would be two debilitating penalties for the Tar Heels. Pass interference, defense, number 29, 15-yard penalty. And it's two 15-yard penalties on this drive. Person in the backfield. He's run the football here. They're going to throw it. Leary's going to take a shot, has a receiver. It is caught. Touchdown, NC State. A mecca of Messi from 24. Out. But look, this is a ball that should be intercepted by the defender. I mean, Cameron Kelly's right there. Emeka Mezzi goes over the top and is able to reel it in. But Cameron Kelly's there. You go. And instead of getting in a jumping contest with Emeka Mezzi, cut in front of him, pick the ball off. That's going to go into the touchback, 25-yard line for Sam Howell. Ball spotted at the 25. Howell to throw on first down, middle of the field, wide open. That's Josh Downs on the reception. That's a good start to the drive, and a gain of 16. Howell forced out of the pocket, going to take a shot downfield. That's going to fall incomplete. Empty backfield for Howell. Has plenty of time. He's going to run it and step out of bounds. Most reliable receiver, Josh Downs. Pressured. Escapes it. Has a man open. It is caught. There's a flag on the play. That was J.J. Jones who came up with the reception. Backs it up third and ten for Howell and the heels. Over the middle of the field, has Downs wide open, able to escape a tackle, and Josh Downs is going to get a first down, brought down by Pitts. NC State only rushing three, gave Sam Howell a ton of time. Now you're going to clock the football. One timeout remaining. Here comes the pressure on Howell. He's going to take a shot, and there's a flag down. It's going to be a hold against Josh Downs. Here's the ball game. The throw to the end zone. Players down there. Intercepted. It is over. NC State comes back to win.